All right, let me get to the next point. It has something to do with what Congresswoman Tsujimoto was just saying in the morning. In short, it's about the comfort women issue. This article which came out in 1992 by Asahi newspaper made us misunderstand that the Japanese military people were involved in this comfort women issue as it says material showing the involvement in the comfort place. However, if you take a closer look at this article, you will find a different explanation. This article actually is a warning to be careful of rogue business people who are involved in recruiting comfort women. What it says is totally the other way around. Please look at the center in this panel. More than 80% of Koreans were elected in the due kind of state parliament election in those days. The governors of the 1st, 6th, 8th, 9th, 10th until 1945 of Chunjikyang Jinamdu were Koreans. The other DOS were same. As to the Daejeon Police Department, the captain number 2 from the top and the superior detective were Koreans. Under this organization, it is inconceivable that the police people forcibly yank comfort women. This comfort women issue has been spread to all over the world. In front of the Japanese embassy in Seoul. A comfort women statue is built. In New Jersey in the U.S., the same statue is built. Along the freeway, an advertising board is set up, saying Japanese made 200,000 Korean women sex slaves. All of them are intolerable disgraces to Japanese. We shall not allow those things to happen. Supposing 200,000 women were taken away, do you think all the parents just saw them being carted off without doing anything? I never think so. Furthermore, Japanese military men, especially former military men, were most disciplined in the world. They were appreciated by the world people. Japan jumped on the bandwagon of modernization later than many major countries in the world, so the Japanese military men tried hard to be accepted by the standards of the leading countries in the world. In the basis of their actions there was Bushido. That's why Japanese military men fought with dignity. However, they have been this way humiliated. Let me tell you again, it is intolerable that our ancestors have been humiliated. Now I hesitate to ask Prime Minister Abe on this matter, so I won't request your comments. But I hope that all of us should understand this situation well. Let's see the next panel. As the article says, Comfort women were not forcibly taken away by military or police people. Only one article was made by Donga Daily and the others were by Asahi newspaper. According to the articles, you can see Koreans abducted girls of good families and sold them to Manuria. They were Japanese girls at the ages of 17, 19 and 20, etc. The other articles say, as you can see, girls of farming families are cheated, divulge body houses, and the like. We can see that the police did right jobs clearly. We can find out that Japanese did something wrong though checking articles very hard. I was very poor before the war ended. So, I knew that there were many poor girls who had to work as comfort women, for whom I have great sympathy. 
、悲しい身の上の女性がいっぱいいたということも知ってます。However, the fabricated story that only Korean women were yanked to be comfort women should be rectified. In the morning, Congresswoman Tsujimoto presented the resolutions and motions on the comfort women in some countries. How can I say? But I really think Koreans are amazingly persistent or obstinate. However, these fabricated stories have spread partly because of LDP, the Liberal Democratic Party. LDP has been historically taking such unreasonable accusations with low postures without objections because Koreans promised not to pursue the issue if Japan apologized. In short, LDP has been fooled. Now the Abe administration has to undertake such heavy burdens. You must realize that LDP, the Liberal Democratic Party, is responsible for the issue. Japanese have a very delicate cultural trait to care people subtly. We simply believe that people can understand each other without many words. Japanese don't continue to criticize a person if he or she apologizes sincerely. We are taught not to cheat people. However, Koreans say, a person who is cheated is more blamed than a crook or keep telling the same lie more than 100 times, it will be a truth. We must not forget that. In that sense, in order to survive on the globe, we will also look into such a double standard. Well, let me put it this way. I won't require Mr. Prime Minister to answer my question. I may be running out of time soon but let me tell you, we have been taught that the war in the past was a war of aggression. However, in 1951, Supreme Commander of Allied Forces Douglas MacArthur who conducted Tokyo Tribunal of War Criminals said at the Senate conference that Japan was enclosed by the US thereby losing the supply routes of natural resources. And therefore the purpose in going to war was largely dictated by security. This is how he denied the war of aggression by Japan. Now in Tokyo, former Governor Ishihara instructed schools to use this phrase of MacArthur as a supplementary textbook material. Next Minister Shimamura whom I highly respect. Would you please distribute this material to all public schools in Japan?